Hey gents, today we're going to take a look at Curology. Uh, this video is just my honest review and opinion. They sent it to me, but this video is not sponsored. And when I said something to my wife about Curology, she said, uh, oh, that brand that pays a bunch of people, but to say that it works, but it really doesn't. And so that was like my first brush with this. I want to share that with you. So the Curology's big thing is that they have customized prescription moisturizer that is based on you know your own skin type and they have you talk to a dermatologist uh, or they have a dermatologist build it for you based on your skin profile and some pictures and but this is my personal one so apply this to the face and then you can also just sign up for this anytime is their cleaner unboxing You'd think I'd be better at this after my 600th video. But they have a cleanser, uh, and then there's a moisturizer. And I talked about this in my Tiege video. I think one of the most powerful things about skincare is, of course, diet. Make sure you drink a lot of water. Make sure you're cutting out sugar and alcohol. And then the other one is routine. So making sure you're washing at night, washing all the grease off your face, moisturizing, using SPF moisturizers. And so here's uh, a little bit about the formula here. I know this is more about the... Uh, so there's the super bottles, there's the cleanser, super bottles, a customized one. And so in order to give this like proper time, I'm going to use this for about two months. Uh, I'll just show you the process here, but this is my first day. It's actually no shave November, so I wanted to make sure, you know, my skin's been pretty good. I actually haven't had any breakouts in a while. I do have some scarring over here, I had acne when I was younger. Uh, I got a little bit of something that's kind of hidden under the beard here but I wanna see how much healthier my skin is overall. So, and then we'll talk, you know, we'll talk about the process and then we'll talk about the pricing because it can end up being expensive, but so is prescription, you know, acne care. And I think that's what they're really trying to disrupt. So uh, I'll start Curology now, see if this works and I'll check in with you guys, uh, maybe in two weeks, you know, I'll check in every week or so to see how it goes. A quick update, I'm on my fourth day of Curology and I started growing out my beard for No Shave November and I'm trying to figure out like I had a little bit of a breakout here before I started the Curology but now like this is the most itchy my beard has ever been and like I know there's an itchy phase but you can see like underneath the skin it's kind of red and a little bit rashy and so I am going to shave now because I, it's, it's like uncontrollably itchy and then I can send a picture to the prescriber of the cream and, and let her know what's going on with the skin so maybe they can adjust it on the next one, but uh, I'll give you an update as I figure out what's going on here. <sighs> Shaved. You can see it now, like I could feel it down here before, and I'm not sure if this is, like when you try a new medication, like this is a medicated, the super bottle is medicated, and kind of like flushes everything out and like gets all the toxins out. But you can see like, I don't think I've broken out this bad for a while. And so I'm going to, send a picture to them because there's a person that's assigned. And so we'll see what happens here. I'm continuing to use the cleanser, the moisturizer. I kind of want to hold off on the super bottle for now, but I'll see what happens here. So it's the cleanser and the moisturizer in the morning, the cleanser, the super bottle, and the moisturizer at night. And this is fourth day. So I did just use it now. Uh, I used the cleaner, shaved, and then put the moisturizer on over top of it. So. Interesting stuff. Keep you updated. All right, so I'm three weeks into Curology now. I'll get a little bit close up here. The super bottle, the, the whatever was happening with my beard definitely subsided. I did go with the recommendation of doing it every other night because it's a little bit intense. And my skin does feel very healthy. My wife actually said, uh, that's always a good indicator is if my wife says, hey, your skin looks really healthy when I try a new regimen and it's happened a couple of times, not with all of them, but it did with, with this so far. The cleanser, I like. The cleanser, I feel pretty clean after I use it. I'm happy using it. Uh, I've used other cleansers that I guess are from more premium brands that I feel like my face feels cleaner afterwards, but the cleanser is good. 
The moisturizer, I'm a little mixed on, like the daily moisturizer you're supposed to put on in the morning and at night, the one that's not customized, I don't feel like it's actually nourishing my skin in a way that I'm used to. I'm used to using more premium brands. I've used Tiege and Otis and Bulldog and Jack Black, and so I'm still kind of working out my thoughts on the moisturizer. The Super Bottle does seem to be doing something to my skin. It does seem that, that when, I, when I shaved around uh, my beard time, it was kind of purging some of the toxins around there, but you can see uh, up close here. I mean, it's looking it's looking healthy, and I'm pretty satisfied with it so far. This popped up later. I mean, you're gonna get you're gonna get pimples and stuff, and I'm I'm doing it on my forehead. I'm doing it uh, on my nose here, and so good so far. I will check in after I think. So this is a third week. I want to get through like maybe two full months, and then uh, we'll wrap things up with all the pricing and information that uh, we should talk about. So. We'll check in again. All right, checking in again, uh, about a month into it. And what I keep finding is in the middle of the day, I will get this like dry skin here. And this is atypical for me, even in the winter when I've used other moisturizers. And it seems like what's happening is I use the super serum, the uh, customized one at night and then my skin you know, like retracts or it's like shedding exfoliating something so I use this I use as directed I use the super bottle at night and then I clean and use the moisturizer in the morning uh, clean at night super bottle moisturizer I did cut back I was doing every other day now I'm back to using it every day this is the first time that I've tested a skincare routine that it feels like a step back in overall ingredient quality as I have, you know, when I've talked about other ones, like I love the Matt for Men moisturizer and I use that as a benchmark for a lot of this stuff. And so, still figuring it out. I wanna give my skin enough time to really adjust. Like, you know, I shaved this morning and put the moisturizer on afterwards, but I keep finding that I'm a little bit more dry looking than I want and I end up putting a different moisturizer on throughout the day, so. That's the latest on this. I'll give it a few more weeks here and then we'll wrap it all up. All right, so it's been over two months using Curology and I'm ready to wrap it up. I just wanna shoot a little bit here as I finish this and then I'm, gonna, I'm switching products right now so I wanna make sure I capture the final results of the skincare and then I'll wrap everything up with my thoughts, the pricing, the process, and who it's really for because I also reached out to you guys on Instagram. I got some great feedback from guys that have tried it. And so this is, it's been a consistent thing where, look, I shaved this morning, I used the moisturizer, but I'm still getting drier skin in here, way more than I'm used to even at this time of year. And it has made my skin like look healthier and there's never been a product that's stopped these like kind of one-off pimples from happening, and so that's fine. I feel healthier with the super bottle, but then the moisturizer is what leaves me low. So I'm gonna deep dive into the formulation on the moisturizer, and then I'll talk about my complete thoughts of Curology. Just wanted to capture uh, my final thoughts in the way that my skin is looking after two months on Curology. There we go. Look at that, started the review with a beard, no beard, back to a beard. So let's wrap up the few months that I had with Curology, because of course I wanted some time for my skin to get used to it and to work into the regimen and everything. Is it going to be for everybody? No. Does it work? I believe so. With the caveat that it is not for everybody, I think it is for a person that has a, a very tough time with their skin and they've tried normal regimens and it doesn't work. I think that the moisturizer and the cleanser leave a lot to be desired. I did not feel like the moisturizer was really working as well as another moisturizer would, like something like Bulldog. And for just their basic plan, if you want the cleanser and the moisturizer, it is $20 a month or $40 for a 60 day supply. 30 day supply, you pay shipping. The 60 day supply, you don't pay shipping. And I like the bigger bottles that come in there because they're still travel friendly. And I did travel with these quite a bit. Where Curology really shines, and this is why I think it would be perfect for somebody that hasn't been able to solve their skincare issues, is the Super Bottle. It's my belief that after digging into reviews and, and experiencing myself, the dermatologist created Super Bottle where you send in pictures of your face, you describe your skin. I think it will heal a lot of people if you are dealing with constant acne or if you have bad skin, but where I think this isn't for everybody is if you have generally good skin and you're looking for a really good routine or regimen, I think there are better options for similar prices out there that will deliver a great overall experience. Because if you want the full kit that I have here in these sizes, that is the 60 day supply, which will cost you $60 or $30 a month, which is actually very good. If you compare that to 
going to the dermatologist, and this is where it gets a little iffy because you have to take into account that some insurances cover dermatologist visits, the dermatologist can prescribe something that's really powerful that your insurance can help out on. That's where you need to dig in and do your own research on there. But if you're looking at the Curology route because you've already done something like that, I think that this is a very good deal. Because if you look at T. Shanley, they start around $30 a month and they're not gonna give you the same intense and prescription strength stuff that Curology can. So if you're like me and you have generally healthy skin, you're just dealing with some minor breakouts, pimples and things, I think you can accomplish a really good skin regimen outside of Curology with great products at a good price, whether it is something like Kiehl's or Jack Black or, or many other skincare companies. And I think Curology should really be used for the people that have tried over the counter stuff. They can't get that solved. And either you don't wanna go to a dermatologist or you've you know had a bad experience there. I think Curology is great for that. Because if you have generally healthy skin, I don't think it's worth paying money to get your skin used to something that is very harsh and intense and then like break that cycle later on. I think if you can just get away with like a moisturizer, eye cream and a face wash, go and do that. Don't go prescription level just because you want slightly healthier skin. You can get that accomplished with over-the-counter products very easily. So that is Curology if you're looking into it for yourself. I hope that helps uh, in your search for things. It is very cool to see an FDA approved telemedicine style company succeeding. And so that is very exciting to watch because that can really open up a whole new level of care and products to us. And so very neat. This review is in like sponsored, sanctioned, paid for, any of that stuff, not even affiliate link. And so I just wanted to share my experience with Curology. And if you have any questions, I'll be down in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Mm -hmm.